Hello, this is Rachel Snyder again, the Career Development Coordinator for Tarleton's College of Business Administration, and this next video is going to go over some tips for using LinkedIn on your job search. This is the second video of our Basics of LinkedIn video series, so be sure to check out our other videos. So, we're starting on the home page of LinkedIn, and what you want to do is go to the top and click on the Jobs tab. Then, what I want you to do is not to just type in a job here, but I want you to go and find the advanced search feature. And you do that by clicking on the search button. Give it just a moment to load. And then you can get to the all filters button right here. And this is going to be where the magic happens on narrowing jobs down to ones you actually want to apply for. And here you can see a lot of options, and those are going to be things like date posted, different features LinkedIn has, job type, location, company, industry, job function, and even experience level. And of course, there's even more down here. So you don't need to fill out every filter, but there are a few that are going to be extremely helpful to you. If you're interested in a specific geographic location, don't forget to add that to the top. Up right up here. Now make sure that if you are looking for a specific job type, like full or part-time, that you add it. All right, so full-time. And your experience level over here. This is great if you're looking for an internship or if you're just starting out and you know you're going to need an entry-level position because you don't necessarily have the experience that they might be looking for at these higher-level positions. And this is really going to help you narrow down your search as you get started. Now, I want to walk you through an example to give you an idea of how this is going to work. Let's say I want to work in accounting in Fort Worth. I'm going to type Fort Worth up here. Okay, I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to pull up the Advanced Filters screen again. I'm going to check Full Time, and I'm going to check Entry Level because I don't have any experience so far in this industry. Now, I'm going to go over to Job Function and start typing accounting. You'll see accounting and auditing comes up. So I'm going to click on that. You can do that in the industry column. If I start to type accounting, it's going to come up here. But I'm debating, and I don't necessarily want to work in an accounting firm. I'd actually like to work in the accounting department for a business. So I'm going to do it in job function instead. And then I'm going to press apply. And as you can see, I do have quite a few results, right, 232 to be exact, which that's much more manageable than the thousands and millions that were there earlier. So I'm actually going to go ahead and sort it even further. So I'm going to go back to my filters. I'm going to search for jobs posted in the past month, just to narrow it down and not get any stale jobs that just haven't been deleted. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to click on jobs that have under 10 applicants so far. That way maybe I'm the only person applying. Who knows? Now, as you're, you're going to scroll through, there are going to be some jobs that you're not necessarily interested in that somehow got pulled through even though it doesn't really fall into my category. But as I go down, you'll see you're going to see some features like this is labeled Easy Apply. And you can see some are posted recently and you can see how many applicants there are now here's what I'm looking for you you'll see at this particular position I can see that four alumni work here so that means there are four people on LinkedIn that work here that attended Tarleton State University and you'll see that's the case down here too I'm gonna click on this one just to show you what it looks like oh I'm sorry this one and as we scroll through, you can see when it was posted, some information about the job, about the company, and your connections. And then, of course, there's the job description. And this one is really thorough and detailed, which is great if that's the kind of job you want to apply for. And then you've got, you always double check your seniority level, different things like that. And be sure that if you want to apply for one of these positions that you see career services for resume assistance. And you can actually print out this job description and bring it with you or just have it pulled up on your laptop or phone. Now, I want to see who works here. 
maybe I'll connect with them and see if I can get some information about the job. Okay, so these are four people that worked at or that attended Tarleton State University and they work here. So maybe I'll reach out to them, click on their profile and get some more information to see if that's someone I want to connect with. These are all great options and actually here you can get a bigger list and then go through and see if there's anyone you want to connect with. It can be really helpful if you see down here that it says you have shared connections. Um, there's the, people tend to friend people that know people that they know, so keep that in mind as you're looking through this. Now let's say you're not sure what you want to do, but you know you want to work for a specific company like, say, Enterprise. What you can do is you can run a search for the company instead. So I'm actually going to click Companies instead of Jobs, and then I will search for Enterprise. There are a lot of companies that have that name, but I'm looking for Enterprise Rent-A-Car. So if I click on that, you can look up the company and find a lot of information out about them, right? So you can also see recently posted jobs over here on the right. Then you can narrow down maybe what it is you're interested in applying for. You can also see what they're posting, um, about them. You can see people, and that's a great way to maybe find people to connect with. Um, there's usually some great information about things like where they live, where they studied, what it is they do in the company, and how you're connected. So, say you want to find someone that has some information about Enterprise because you might want to work there but you're not really sure. A first connection means that you're directly connected, a second means you know someone that they know, and so on and so forth. So a first or second connection is usually a great way to go there. Thanks so much for watching this video, and be sure to check out our other videos on the basics of LinkedIn. Thanks!